Maria Belentani and her grandson attend what many believe to be a long overdue ceremony. Her husband, Lucio Belentani, was one of 60 former Volkswagen employees who were persecuted during Brazil's 20-year dictatorship. Lucio died last year, but the few who survived and their families are celebrating a landmark victory. The German car company has agreed to pay a six and a half million dollar compensation to make up for its participation in crimes committed by the military, who ruled Brazil from 1964 to 1985. Lula, Expedito Batista was one of the victims. Volkswagen persecuted workers, shut us up inside the factory and handed us over to the military in the Department of Political and Social Order. The company kept tabs on all employees, suspected of being political or union activists. For years, Maria's husband led the victims in a legal battle to hold Volkswagen accountable for its actions. Before his death, Lucio Berentani described how he was arrested inside the factory in 1972 and beaten there. He was then taken to the secret police headquarters where he was tortured and then in prison for 19 months. The torture began in the factory. They slapped me around, kicked me, punched me. They wanted me to give names of people who were militants in the factory. I said I didn't know anyone. Other workers were followed, harassed, fired and blacklisted, making it impossible for them to get jobs. Volkswagen hired a historian to hear their grievances and examine documents gathered by Brazil's National Truth Commission in 2014. We face our past and recognize the human suffering that has happened to the employees concerned. The company issued a statement saying it regretted the violations and wanted to deal responsibly with this negative chapter of Brazil's history. Lucio didn't live long enough to feel vindicated, but 10-year-old Gustavo was happy to see the tributes being paid to his grandfather. We dedicate this victory to Lucio Balintani. For Tarcísio Tadeu, who now leads the group, it's not about the money. It's about finally uncovering the truth. It's the first time in the history of capitalism that a multinational company answers for crimes committed 40 years ago. More important still is the fact that this happens now, when Brazil is being governed by people who deny that there ever was dictatorship. It helps us to keep democracy alive. Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro has repeatedly praised the 1964 coup and defended the military regime. Only half of the settlement will be given to the victims. The rest of the money will be used to finance investigations into Brazil's dark past which involves the participation of other international companies. The names of at least 50 corporations were mentioned by Brazil's National Truth Commission. Monica Yanakiev, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.